Hi everybody, this is Bug S Reviews, and today I'm going to be doing a review on the NECA San Diego Comic Con 2024 exclusive Super Alf figure. So before we take a look at Alf, let's go ahead and take a look at all of the numerous accessories that he comes with. So first up, he comes with a set of fisted hands. Up next, he comes with an alternate right thumbs up hand. Up next, he comes with a set of these open relaxed hands. I'm using them for a flying pose. Up next, he comes with a set of pointing hands. Up next, he includes an alternate right accessory holding hand and his selfie stick. And the selfie stick looks very nice. It has a phone on top right here. It almost looks like an iPhone. It actually hinges up and down. And if you look, there's actually an image of ALF. Let's try and get that to focus in there. There's actually an image of ALF with his finger up like this. So if you have it up like that, it actually looks like it's mirroring him. So I think that is a very, very nice touch. Nick did a very awesome job with this accessory. Up next, you get this ALF poster, and this is what the box art looks like. Up next, you get a poster tube, and this actually opens up, and you can put the poster down in it. Just so I don't bend it, I am going to do that. There you can see the poster down in there, and that was a lot trickier to get in there than I thought it would be. I probably should have just left it flat, but at least now it'll be protected and it won't get ripped or anything being down in here. And finally, you get a sticker sheet to put some stickers on the poster tube, and you get some really cool ones right here, like Mel Mac is for lovers, free cat food, this almost looks like the Deadpool logo, the 80s did it better. I just love all of these. I don't know which ones I'm going to put on this, or if I'll even put any of these on here, but I think it's really cool that you can customize it the way you want with these. So now let's go ahead and take a look at the head sculpt. So taking a look at this head sculpt, this is the exact same head sculpt that's been used for every ALF figure so far, but it still looks very, very nice. All of the washes and the textures on his skin look really good. That variation in paint in his hair looks very nice. The very, very glossy black used for his eyes looks very good. As I said, this is just a reuse, but all of the head sculpts that NECA has done for ALF so far have been very awesome. Uh, the body is the exact same till you get down here. Uh, as on the previous ALF figures, you do get this real fabric outfit, and I love the way this looks. It's a very stretchy material, but in some places you actually get some tears. On this sleeve, you had little runs in the material, and right here you can see the sleeve is splitting just a little bit, so that is unfortunate. I haven't even posed the figure around except for, for this video, and yeah, you do get some pieces right there. So while it does look very nice and feel very stretchy, I would still be careful. I honestly think it's because of the sculpt of his fur. You get some little sharp pieces here in the fur, you can see it sticking out under the material right there, and that could rip it. Uh, potentially if you're not careful. So that does suck, even though it does look very nice. The cape looks really, really good. The blue on the back and the purple in the front, that looks very nice. The stitch work is done very well, and it hides the uh, wire in it very well. But the wire is super flimsy. You can't even bend it. If I try to get it bent up like this, then it just falls right back down. It only has a slight bend to it. My one critique of uh, NECA's uh, bendy wire is they use this really, really thin bendy wire, and it does hardly anything for the figure. And I really like bendy wire and capes, but you know, when you can't do anything with it, there's no point in having it. I honestly would have preferred it just not have any bendy wire in it at all than bendy wire that doesn't actually hold the shape. I feel like the shorts are done in a better material. They don't feel like they're going to rip. The stitch work on them looks really nice. You get this rope holding the shorts on there, and that looks really good. You do get new lower legs down here because of where they attach to the sneakers right here. So this is new right here. And of course he has the large sneakers and these look very nice. Don't have a lot of sculpt and paint detail to them, but they still look really good regardless. And you actually get the bottoms of the soles sculpted on there. So that is a very nice touch. I honestly didn't think that they'd have any sculpt detail to them, but they do. So now let's go ahead and go over Alf's articulation. So up here in the head, I believe this is on a ball joint, uh, the top of his head right here. It can move up and down, and the jaw moves very slightly. So you can actually get him moving his mouth and stuff, and that looks very awesome. He also has a ball joint down here in the neck. It can move up and down very slightly, and move side to side. He has shoulders that can only move out that far. You are kind of pushing it to the limits if you do that. So I would definitely only move them out that far. He has double jointed elbows that can bend in that far. They do swivel side to side, but with this material, I don't feel like you should be doing that. 
He has a swivel thrust that can move side to side and up and down very nicely. He has a ball jointed diaphragm that can move up and down very slightly and side to side but it's stretching that material so I wouldn't stretch that too much. He has ball jointed hips that can do a complete split even in the shorts. He can kick forward a little bit back very slightly. He has a very nice thigh swivel, single jointed knees that can bend back that far, and ankles that barely move up and down. They do rock nicely, but that up and down movement, there's barely any there. And if it is, it is a very stiff joint and I don't want to move it. Uh, I might break it if I try to move it anymore. So now let's do some size comparisons. So first up here he is next to the regular ALF. And finally, here he is next to last year's Comic-Con exclusive, the Cosmic-Con Alf figure. So overall, I think NECA did a really good job on this. I do have my complaints, like the material for the shirt feels like it's going to rip if you move the figure the wrong way. But other than that, I think he's a really cool figure. Honestly, did we really need another ALF Comic-Con figure? I feel like NECA's kind of trying to get some use out of their ALF body molds, which I honestly don't blame them, but I don't necessarily think we really needed another ALF Comic-Con figure. So despite that, I still think it's a really cool figure. So that's my review. If you like this review, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.